question number 22 the nyquist filter has a impulse response given by if you can remember the formulas of nyquist filter you can directly answer if not if you can remember its frequency response you can answer this question easily even fine let us see before going to the options let us see the concept of nyquist filter how its frequency response was from that we'll get the time domain impulse response fine before going to this nyquist filter frequency response just i want to blush of one concept that is regarding the rectangular pulse so if anybody says a rectangle t by capital t what does it mean you know it is nothing but it's a graph plotted between see it's a graph having x axis as time axis you should note that t means that the axis should be time axis and y axis should be the signal the time domain signal anything g of t x of t h of t whatever but it should be a time domain signal because x axis is t now this is about t now what is this capital t it indicates the duration of the pulse okay so okay before going to that rect rect means it's a rectangle you should draw some rectangle like this now you may you may say like i'll draw a rectangle completely right side even that is possible but according to this what does it mean is you need to draw a rectangle such that it's such that its center is at t equal to 0 if suppose the question was like a rect t by t is 2 something like this so the center would be t equal to 2 now the center is t equal to 0 this is the center now right side and left side width should be same and that width should completely equal to capital T this indicates total width and so that it indicates t by 2 this is minus t by 2 this is the basics and this a indicates the amplitude these are the three to four things which you need to take care time axis and total width is t and origin is given by the numerator t minus 2 if it is t minus 2 then i mean center will be t equal to 2 is the center here it is 0 now amplitude is a and which should be equally divided to right side and left side from the center fine this is the basics of rectangle function now let us see the frequency response of the Nyquist filter. Nyquist filter frequency response is given by this. You need to memorize this. This is the frequency response of Nyquist filter. So this Nyquist filter, what happens is the time. I mean, it is not frequency response. So x-axis is frequency, y-axis is h of it. This is indicates the frequency response of the Nyquist filter. Fine. Now the amplitude is t and the right side portion is 1 by 2t left side portion is also 1 by 2t so you can write in terms of equation as a rectangle t by t this is like a i wrote it as t rectangle x axis is f and center is at origin so f minus 0 is same as f now width total width from here to here is nothing but 1 by t so 1 by t i have written accordingly so if you simplify this if you bring 1 by t up this is the frequency response of the Nyquist filter please try to remember t rect ft t ref t rect ft t rect ft is the frequency response of the Nyquist filter for this we need to find inverse Fourier transform then we'll get the impulse response now you should uh, know one thing from Fourier transform that a rect t by tau as a Fourier transform of a t sync f tau a t sync f tau sync function you might have known already i need not explain so a rect t by tau has a Fourier transform a t sync f tau now if you take the dual of this dual indicates change uh, you know dual property of Fourier transform so change t with f f with uh, sorry change t with tau and sorry change f with tau tau with f okay this is a dual property then it becomes c a t sync t tau okay instead of f i'm writing t okay t tau will have a fourier transform of a rect a rect instead of t i am writing f tau so you can remember this formula and you can remember if you want you can remember second formula even some people will remember both the formulas assume that second formula you have remembered means a a tau sync t tau will have fourier transform a rect f tau okay now what i am asking is what is the fourier transform of t rect f tau t rect f t what is this fourier transform inverse fourier transform so just compare the second formula with this question so a is like 
t rect and rect are same f is same as f and 1 by tau is same as capital T so two things you need to note a is same as t and rect is rect f is f same and 1 by tau is same as t 1 by tau is t so what what happens to tau tau is nothing but 1 by t so these two conclusions you made now just simply you write here a means t tau means 1 by t sing you write sing t you write t as it is tau means 1 by t so t and t will cancel so finally what you left sync t by capital t so this is the impulse response some people will directly remember this impulse response of the sorry impulse response of nyquist filter they'll remember directly and they'll say sync t by t this can be written as sync is nothing but sine pi of that whatever argument is there inside divided by pi of that argument okay this is the right answer sync x is nothing but sine pi x by pi x okay so just you need to this is the formula for sync in terms of sine so same thing i am doing sync to sine so try to memorize this formula if possible uh, impulse response of the nyquist filter is nothing but sync t by tau sync t by t uh, capital t or tau whatever it is given so the right choice is option a because sync pi t by pi t by t so this cannot be this cannot be this cannot be so the right choice is option a so try to memorize the fourier transform page this is like an extension these two formulas please try to memorize so that you can answer the question in within one minute in exam because this for exam each question carries one minute because this time the questions are 90 90 question each question will take one minute and the duration is 90 minutes so try to memorize these two formulas you can do any question okay thank you